This video will be showing how to migrate an SQL database to a new server, as well as how to upgrade Biostar 1. First, you'll want to back up your Biostar database. You will need to use SQL Management Studio. If you don't have SQL Management Studio, you can find a link to download the 2012 version in the description. Once it is installed, search and open SQL Server Management Studio as an administrator. Connect to the SQL instance installed on your machine. Click the plus next to databases. Right click on Biostar, go to tasks, and then click on backup. Here, you can configure settings for your backup. To choose a destination folder for the backup, make sure disk is selected and then click add in the destination section. Select a folder and file name to backup to. Take note of the folder you choose. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. When the backup is complete, click OK. If you are migrating your database to a new server, you will need to copy this file to your new server. If you don't have a Biostar license, skip to this timecode. If you have a Biostar license, open File Explorer and click on Computer. Go to your C drive. Open Program Files x86. Open Biostar. Open Server. Locate the file named biostar.lic. This is the Biostar license file. Make sure to either move it to your new server or, if you are upgrading to the same server, to copy it elsewhere on this computer. If you are migrating to a new server, skip to this timecode. If you are staying on the same server and upgrading Biostar, you will need to uninstall your current version of Biostar. To do so, search and select Control Panel. Select Uninstall a program. Find and select Biostar, and then click Uninstall slash Change. Follow the steps shown to you. Make sure to remove the program entirely. Next, open File Explorer and click on Computer. Open your C drive. Open Program Files x86. Delete the Biostar folder. You may need administrator privileges to do so. You will need to download Biostar so that you can install it on your server. Links to download various versions of Biostar software can be found in the description. Once you have installed the setup file, run it. Once you have installed Biostar, you will need to copy your license file to the same location that it was in your previous Biostar install. Once you have done this, you will need to connect Biostar to your SQL database. If you are upgrading Biostar on the same server, skip to this timecode. If you are migrating to a new server, you will need to restore your database. You can restore backups from previous versions of SQL to newer ones, but you can't restore to older versions. Search and open SQL Management Studio as an administrator. Connect to the SQL instance installed on your computer. Right-click on Databases and select Restore Database. In the Database box, enter Biostar. In the Source section, select Device, and then click the three dots in the same line. Click Add. Locate your backup file and click OK. Click OK. Check the box under Restore next to your backup. Click OK. Click OK. Copy the name of the server that contains your Biostar database. In Biostar Server Config, paste the name in the database server box. Click Apply. Before you start your server, you should patch the database. Open File Explorer and click on Computer. Go to your C drive. Open Program Files x86. Open Biostar. Open Server. Find the application called DB Setup and run it. If this fails, make sure that the database server is correct in the Biostar server config. Once you make sure that it is correct, if you are using an earlier instance than in SQL 2012, the patch should not fail. If you use SQL 2012 or higher, there is one more step you must take. Open SQL Management Studio as administrator. 
connect to your server, expand security, and then logins. Double click on NT Authority. Click on Server Roles. Ensure that Public and Sys Admin are selected. Next, click on User Mapping. Select the checkbox next to your Biostar server. Make sure that Public and DB Owner are selected. Click OK. Try running the DB patch again. It should not fail. You can now start your Biostar server. For more help, visit support.bioconnect.com and check out our other videos.